One of the most important things about your 20s is learning. Learning about what makes you happy. You're learning to adapt and learning how to be alone. Your priorities and perspective shift. You're owning your own faults and growing from them. You're not perfect, and you must learn to give yourself grace. You're learning about what kind of spaces make you feel safe. You see, in our 20s, the people in our life change without notice. The falling out of friendships is something we don't talk about, but plays a big part in our life. Some come abruptly without a word, and others are slammed right in your face. When that happens, you may wonder, how did we get here? What did I miss? Do you remember when we used to do dollar store runs freshman year just because we could? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Life was so simple then. That's when I thought school was useful. Yeah, school is pretty useless sometimes. Amari, I think I'm gonna quit school for a bit. Okay, but what's your sudden want to do that? I've been thinking about it for some time. I feel like I've been wasting my time and money. I'm better off getting a job at a call center, making money and figuring it out from there. Okay, but what's your real reasoning? What's your backup plan? This is my backup plan. School wasn't cutting it. We graduate, then what? We don't get a guaranteed paying career once we finish. I need something confirmed. So what? You're just gonna quit after feeling like you won't get something after you graduate? You want the easy way out? Yeah, that is a good way to make money. But will it make you happy? Mari. Your life is different from mine. You have your parents to help you out. You can take those risks. You can take off for the next few months and be just fine. But I can't. I need to be able to provide for myself consistently. Okay, I get that. Do you? I feel like you don't. I mean, I'm trying to. I just don't want you to make a rash decision. <sighs> don't. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Corn dog. <laughs> and I'm like, bruh, there's no food at the house, your mama's not home, and I'm the guest. Mari, bro, to top it all off, their mama came home with an empty bag of Burger King. Mm. I'm never spending a night at my cousin's house ever again after that mess. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> And that's why I like Taco Bell so much, because if it wasn't for Taco Bell and her taking us there afterwards, I mean, come on now, it saved my life. You heard me? Mari, why'd you stop? Yeah. What's on your mind? What would you say if, well, no, wait, never mind, I'm good. No, say it. What's up? Okay, you remember my friend Liv I was telling you about? Uh, that's the one you said was that you felt like you were going out of. Yes, her. So, the other day she was talking about how she wanted to quit school and stuff, but she doesn't have a backup plan, you know? Like, she kept saying how college is just stealing her money, which I completely get, but I told her it was a bad idea because she isn't really established in her field yet. Then she completely snapped on me out of nowhere, talking about I don't understand her life circumstances and such. I don't know. It's just been on my mind for a minute, because, like, I'm trying to be a good friend to her, but she hasn't really been around, 
for me to know what her life has been like. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of how things have been recently between us. And I have tried to be there for her through everything. And I don't feel like I deserve that type of treatment. You know, we all play the villain in someone's story, no matter how much we try to be the hero. To her, it may seem as you're trying to downplay her life situations. And I don't know, maybe she didn't like that. And she took her distance from you. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that's the best thing to do, but maybe it's what helped her find her peace. Chipmunk. Mom. Mom. <laughs> I thought you and Dad couldn't come. He couldn't come, but I wasn't about to miss my five beta babies. Oh, Ooh. Didn't I tell you'd always run rings around? Okay. Yes. I was right, wasn't I? Like you were right. I know it. I know Thank it. You, Sean, the I get where he's coming from, but like. Actually, a walk in the park sounds perfect. It's a beautiful day. I'll just need to get a sun hat and... Mrs. Puff needs a sun hat, SpongeBob! Well, I think she... The sun is beating down on poor Mrs. Puff's head! As your financial advisor, I suggest... There's no time for suggestions! Go buy a hat! What? Today! Don't worry, Mrs. Puff. I'll change it! SpongeBob! Hurry! Hey. Hey. So, how are you? Good. Okay. Good. Um, I've been good. Okay, well, I just wanted to see where in our friendship it started to go downhill. Is it something I said or did? Well, you just stopped checking in with me. Your attitude started changing. I don't know. You just seemed like a different person. And I just wanted to give you your space to do what you needed to do. I mean... I started getting busier. I started forgetting who to check on. And then I realized I'm the only one doing it. I just feel like I do a lot of work to keep this friendship going. And I don't think you ever noticed it. I mean, I even took a step back to see if you would notice me being gone, but... Oh, I'm going to be honest. I think we just grew apart from each other. And as much as I care about you, I care about me too. So I, I did take advantage of the distance. I shouldn't have, but I did. 
and I do agree that we had mis miscommunication issues, but I think we both knew that it was something off. Like this was gonna happen. Maybe we need a break. Okay, I can agree with that. I mean, we're literally in two different places than we used to be with our careers and the people we hang out with. It's just, it seems like every time I say or do something that goes against something you say, you snap at me for it. Let someone else do something similar and you're more forgiving. That's not fair to me. I don't deserve that, and I know I haven't been the perfect friend, and not everything I've done has made you happy, but I just, I really don't know what I did to you to treat me with less respect than others. You were just so quick to throw away the friendship. To be fair, you did it first. Eventually, you just get tired of trying to explain yourself. Okay. In our 20s, we must learn to adapt to many different things. The transition of those we love coming and leaving our life. We learn to accept life as it comes and the new opportunities. Those that we want to share those milestones with may not come with us. We learn to accept the journey, and we learn to move on without forgetting the memories we shared. 